Disclaimer, this video is totally made upon fiction, nothing is related to reality. Ignore my mistakes, it's totally imaginary. Nothing is related to idols real life. Don't take it seriously, I'm not encouraging anyone to get influenced by it. The voice in the video is mine, picture credit goes to the owner. Please don't copy my content. Tayong, Kim Wayan, he shouted in anger. Reason? Well, the reason is that his hairs are now covered in glue. Don't be confused. It's turned by his enemy wifey. He quickly washed off his hairs and stormed out wearing a bathrobe. He saw his wifey giggling while holding her stomach. Without giving her time to think, he pinned the fragile girl who is not innocent but on the wall. She gasped, seeing the angry Kim with wet ears. Tell, why you did that? Angry. Wine smirked. Wine, revenge of the last night. Tell, you like that, didn't you? Smirk. Why, no, not at all. I thought you, your head somewhere, and bought a gift for me. I was excited, bowed angrily. Tell, oh, so you want a gift from me? Why, never. I won't take anything from you. I was excited without knowing that you had put the cockroach in that. Tell, so you will put glue in my shampoo? Well, I can do worse than that, Cecily. Damn, like what? When I can make you a ball in few months. Damn, understood that now he's not even safe in his own bathroom. When now, would you mind leaving my wrist? Taeyong left her wrist. Taeyong, I'm letting you go this time, but if you do this again, then be ready for punishment. Why smirk? Do you think I'm scared of your punishment? Oh, not that smirk. Taeyong loved this side of his tigress. <laughs> like, how the way she's not scared of him. Where even a single glare can make his enemy kneel down. Why not? He is a mafia king after all. He stepped a little closer, making her stick to the wall. Damn, so are you ready for it? I'm not gonna stop until you beg me. Deep voice. Why am I secretly? She was nervous but didn't want to show. Damn, hmm, impressive. He started tickling her. Of course, his eyes saw for his wifey. Wen was laughing. Wen, damn, stop. She was laughing. Little tears were present on the corner of her eyes. Where Taeyong himself was laughing, seeing her laugh. Taeyong, I'm not gonna stop until you beg me. When I will not. Tickling. Okay, I sur surrender. Laugh. Taeyong, not, not like this. Me. Jimmy was about to knock, but freeze at his place, hearing his best friend talks. Jimmy, oh god, these don't they know there are some other people too. He went from there, closing his ears. Park Jimmy, who adds fuel to the fire, best friend of Fine and Town, 
a high level. So let me tell you something about them. Why and Thayong are married just because of their family. Because they wanted to have a good relation. They both are enemies from childhood. They each other maybe not really but don't know the reason. Being in the same college and university, their enemy relation grew more. They both annoy each other but also can't stay even for an hour without teasing each other. Without their wills, they were growing feelings for each other or maybe already in love, who knows. Time skip. Tang and Vine came downstairs only to welcome by their best friend who read cause of anger. Vine, Jim, what happened? Jimin, are you both done of your session? They got confused. Tang, what session, man? He said sitting on the couch. Jimin, I'm not gonna stop until you beg. Mimicking. Vine eyes widened. She was about to say, but Tang said something. Man, you really heard it up. It's so embarrassing. Fake blushing. Why and look at him in disbelief. When them angry. Then I'm sorry, babe. are you able to walk? When Tao looked away angry but blushing. He smirked looking at her reaction. Where Jimin shook his head. Jimin, if we both are done of your aftercare, can we go to office now? Did you forget we have an important meeting? When but breakfast, Jimin, don't worry and make him eat at office. He will regain his all energy which he used on you. When Jim, he was the king, when. He rolled his eyes and went away. He was already She looked at them angrily, who smirked in satisfaction. When my next revenge will make tears come to your eyes. Then smirked grew really more. He went closer to her her forehead. Then goodbye. He smirked and went away from there. Wine heart flipped and she looked down blushing and smiling. After an hour, Wine picked her phone which was ring- ringing Ella. Yeah, where are you? You forgot? Today we had to meet Wine herself in mine. Wine, Ani, I'm on my way. She cut the call immediately and ran from there, getting ready or her best friend will eat her alive. Then was in his office. That's when his phone started ringing. It was an unknown number. He picked up but clenched his fist, hearing the laugh from the other side. His enemy, Max. Max, hey Kim, long time no see, laugh. Damn, what do you want Max? Scary voice. Max, laugh, I don't need anything. I already have your precious thing with me. Damn, what the are you saying? Max, you will get to know soon. Laugh and cut call. Damn, bang his hand on table. He was angry, but unknown, rises in his heart. He doesn't know why he wanted to see Vine right now. He grabbed his key and left outside.
he was driving his car being lost in his thoughts that's when his gaze fell on the side of the road there was something more like someone laying lifeless he stopped the car and went he ran to that person he can say she was in bad condition his heart stopped beating when he looked at the person's face It was requested. The girl requested that I made this channel. Sorry for late, baby. Hope you are watching and like it. The end.